Good morning to you. Day six of my section hike. Um, I'm just rolling out of camp. I was at low gap shelter. A um, little more humid and warmer than it was. We actually had a few sprinkles, just a little bit. Um, but the humidity and just that little extra heat made it to where I had to kind of manage my my you know heat in the sleeping bag and stuff, and it was kind of kept me up a little bit. But uh, <clears throat> but all's well. Got enough sleep, and uh, um, the only other thing going wrong is uh, the left knee is still a problem. Ibuprofen really didn't knock it out or anything. So fortunately today it should be a cakewalk. Looking at the guide, um, pretty flat and pretty short. So seven miles and not much elevation gain or loss. So um, the part that uh, affects my knee is going downhill. Uphill is totally fine. And as you can see, I'm both walking along. I'm, it's not, not a major problem. So I'm not too worried about it uh, to, to adjust, you know, to have to alter my plans or anything. So a little recap on the food from yesterday. Um, rolled out of Neil Gap after eating a cheeseburger, which was a frozen cheeseburger. You just pop in the microwave at the cabin. Um, Mid-morning snack was trail mix. Um, oh, I had a Welch's grape juice too at the, at the breakfast. Um, lunch was at Cow Rock Mountain. And that was <clears throat> free Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Just kidding. It was um, a tortilla with almond butter, dried apple slices. Mid-afternoon snack, I think a little, just a little more trail mix. And then dinner was beef stroganoff mountain house meal. And that was pretty good. That was one of my favorites. Um, yeah, and every day I do a Gatorade in the morning and a, an emergency in the afternoon just in my water so just kind of mix the powder in the water and uh <clears throat> and that uh that's been doing well so so still no concerns with you know the amount of food i have i probably have a little more than i need but that's that's just about right i think i think i've dialed that piece in about a mile into my walk today out of seven miles just wanted to give you a little view from the trail. No scenic overlooks yet. It's been uh, pretty much a walk in the woods. Um, nice, tranquil kind of setting, though. Um, I get the sense that I'm still walking kind of a ridge between mountains. Yeah, I should be rolling into camp. You know, unless I have major places I want to stop and really hang out and relax um should be rolling in like 1 p.m so pretty short day i should be able to just uh almost take a take a big break you know for the afternoon and see how the if the <clears throat> knee heals up a little more for the bigger day tomorrow tomorrow's eight miles but it's a lot of up and down so just a little strategy going on there long ago Another view from the trail uh, today. I'm about three miles into my hike. And uh, you can see, like, this is all rhododendron. So I'm in a rhododendron tunnel. Uh, there's been a lot of this in the last uh, half mile. Um, just wanted to kind of give you the, you know, another sense of the trail. And um, <clears throat> today is a little, a little overcast, at least so far. I bet you that'll burn off, though. Uh, the sun is peeking through uh, more and more as we go. Um, but it is one of those, you know, I, I can't complain, really, because <laughs> we haven't had, like, rain, like, day-long rain, um, which can happen out here. Um, but it's funny how, you know, just some overcast, and then, like, you're walking through tunnels like this. It's just, it's not as uplifting I should say it's 
the campsite at uh, Blue Mountain. <clears throat> Got a shelter, uh, bare cables, and a privy back that way, and a water source about a tenth of a mile away. Pretty typical setup for a, a shelter. A lot of them have a, like kind of a loft, but this one does not. And what you'll see is like a cooking table, uh, bench, and just kind of an open-faced structure. Um, in the, the tube like that is usually a log book people can write. Um, gives you some regulations and a broom. <laughs> this is all pretty typical places to hang uh, your bags and things like that. So I'm looking forward to we're probably going to have a, a sunrise tomorrow that we can actually see. A um, couple of the night, a few of the nights uh, have been in, you know, near a creek or something where you, you know, you're in lower elevation you can't really see uh, the sun come up so looking forward to it the mayonnaise economy oh yeah coke is worried about going out of business no it's not 